Hey, would it be? It's your boy Dre OG. Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're rocking with the vibes and the content, man. But look, yo, we got these aliens and UFO sightings, yo. This is TikToks and uh, conspiracies that government don't want to see, don't want you to see. You know, this is shit that's flying in the sky and stuff, y'all. But look, man. We in for a good video today, man. Just know, man, we're going through this thing called life together. Things will get better no matter what situation you in. Just know that you got, you can always change your mindset, bro. But lady, do what the fuck you want to do in your life. Take control today. Get it. Start off with some laughs, though. Oh, shit. That ain't nothing to laugh about. Oh, that thing cloaked. But it's always on the most ugly cameras, too. This man traveled back in time to the dinosaur era with the help of aliens. He actually took his camera with him and managed to take this shot of a pterodactyl. His name is Billy Meyer, a Swiss man who claims he has been in direct contact with aliens since he was just a boy. Apparently, he's one of the few people around the world who is permitted to actually photograph and take videos of UFOs and has been doing so since the 1960s and 70s. He claims to have captured images such as this and this. He also claims that the beings that have visited him are known as the Plagiarians. They're allegedly from the Pleiades. star cluster known as the Pleiades. This isn't the first time we've heard of reports of aliens coming from the Pleiades, but his case is interesting altogether, considering that Billy only attended school up until the sixth grade. He asserts that the aliens are about 3,500 years ahead of us technologically and that they study us because we represent an earlier stage of their own evolution. What's interesting is that he even presented exotic metal samples that represented four stages in the construction of the Pleiadian spacecraft. What's even more trippy is that he gave the metal samples to a research scientist at IBM, Dr. Vogel. Dr. Vogel found that everything about the metal samples indicated a cold fusion process, something that to this day hasn't been mastered on Earth. We all know that the United States government and governments all around the world are currently studying metamaterials, meaning materials that are not found on Earth. Now, I'm not saying Billy Meyer's story is true, but it is pretty interesting. Keep an open mind, and as always, Keep it adrenaline. Hey, look, like he said, you got to keep an open mind because, look, it, it it is a possibility like the Pleiadians and stuff like every if you know, you know, I ain't got time to be explaining, but they do look like they resemble Caucasian people. And I think that. If you was to have an open mind, you can think how you, white people could be the earlier stage of Pleiadians and black people. The Anunnaki. Crazy, right? Not so crazy. <laughs> I don't know about that one. What you know about rolling down in the deep? Yeah. Okay, so that picture I just showed you was a picture of a giant skeleton that they found in South America. But this is the scary part, is that they aren't just finding these skeletons in one, two spots. They are finding these joints everywhere, literally everywhere, especially in Antarctica. I have to make another video on that because the stuff they are finding down there would literally, this is the thing, they don't know how to tell the masses the stuff they're fighting down there because if it were to get out it would kill religion as we know it oh, of course the even scarier part is of course these giant skeletons are just proving that there was giants walking on earth at one point but that these biblical and religious stories that we grew up being told have some truth to them but what's even more scary is if you know the story of the nephilim it comes from humans and angels having intercourse when they were told not to and create these giants so that must mean that these angels or higher beings are real. Literally everything we knew is a lie. Hey, real talk though. You got to think, man. They, they're they finding new pyramids over there as we speak because the ice and stuff is melting and it's revealing certain shit. But they already knew there's a lot of other things over there. They, You think, bro, when they get down there, they're going to take all the technology and everything, bro, and hide it because control issues, man. It's all about profit, you know, they're going to they're gonna reverse engineer the technology. An actual UFO fell from the sky. The government are trying to cover it up. Like it came out of space. Where'd it go? Where's the... 
they dropped. OMG, there's people out there looking. Where'd it go? I heard a loud cry. Wow. Yeah, they chasing it. Real talk. It's not a drill. Those are F-22s too. Them things top, hey, top speed is top secret on those. Well, it used to be. I know this isn't my usual content, but this morning we woke up and all of the fish in the lake behind my house are dead. Literally thousands of them as far as you can see. A bigger question is why are the fish in the lake immediately next to it perfectly fine? Maybe somebody tested some poison or something. You know what? Hold up. Oh, shit. Oh, it was right there. Whoa. What is that? It's oh, like teleporting. No. It's like. Absolutely not. Now while I'm on the plane, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if I make a clap in here, after my clapping, you will hear the normal echo. Now please join me to the front of the steps. And when the sound of the clapping touches the steps according to the speed of the sound, that frequency, it will travel in the chamber. Yeah. But when it comes out, it will be equal to the song of a bird. We still don't know how to do that or how they did that. I wish we have. Dude, are you kidding technology. me? I'm, that's shocking. The nah, sound of the sample of the bird is already in computers and sonograms to check the frequencies, and the two of them, they're equal. Nah, we do know how to do that. We know how to build that type of stuff, but they're not going to let the people that built it rebuild it. That's all it is right there. All of that, all of that information is in our DNA. It's still there. Don't let them tell y'all that. We can build that. Government has proof that competing, three competing extraterrestrial civilizations have been using this planet as a laboratory for genetic manipulation for at least 270 million years. And I said, well, 270 million years is before the time of the dinosaurs. And he looked me straight in the eye and he said, one of the three competing groups made the dinosaurs as an 80 million plus year long experiment. The public and the media at all costs are to know nothing about the presence of extraterrestrials on this planet, underground, based on the moon, based on Mars, and probably throughout the solar system and beyond. Yo, you know what that would do to people if they really knew about stuff like that? Like, how do y'all think the public would react to something like this? Y'all think it'd be okay? So they got to be strategic about how they release this type of information. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. You already see that we don't know how to treat each other. Let some, let, 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 let some aliens come. Man. Hey, but I think it would spark a, a lot of unity around this motherfucker, though. <laughs> All of a sudden, everybody want to be friends now because it's something else that we don't fuck with, you know? <laughs> every white person to have a... Uh, and every black person to have a, a, a white best friend and a black best friend. I'm telling you, everywhere. <laughs> fuck racism. <laughs> uh, the alien -cism. Yo, 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 yo. What? What's going on what here? I am not this high, B. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, look. Oh, look. Chucha. Hey, 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 why you at? What the fuck is that? <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> so, yeah. hiking out. I'd be tripping too. In the middle of the woods. And I see something up a hill off the trail. So I come check it out. 
What the hell? Don't touch that. What Absolutely am I not. Here? This is crazy. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Seeing what? Uh, did I miss it, y'all? Did, did, did I was see, watching I the news today uh, about the war, Russian war, and uh, three jets go by, and there's a UFO in the picture. Inside the Russians for a short time before they exited the area. Despite the fact that the incident was not considered dangerous, the Russians followed up six hours later when another cargo plane and a Russian military jet flew in the same region. Look! There it is! Huh. Right there! A UFO! Huh. And it don't look like no damn jet to me! It don't look like no jet. But they've been working on stuff That's straight too. up fucking UFO right there. And they didn't say one word about the no damn UFO. Hey, but they do say, hey, sir, sir, hey, look, man, governments are working with extraterrestrial lives, man. Like they're helping with certain technologies and stuff like, you know, what I'm saying like. <laughs> So it's not too far stretched. Like they, we've been trying to work on. You got to think since the Roswell incident and all of that. They've been trying to even before that. They've been trying to reconstruct those flying saucers that fell out the sky. Y'all know that shit really, really happened. That is really is documented, people. Some people don't want to believe that that it happened. They've been trying to make those things for the longest. We we got them. Pretty sure. But we're in 2022 now? Come on, think about it. Yeah, I don't want to see this. That's a Look at that. Pretty dope. I want a job where I squirt sports luge in the sky. Right? Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Coordinated luge. That's crazy. That's mad dope, though. I ain't gonna cap. Yeah, this is what uh, taxpayers' money has been spent on. <laughs> Something with Kroger meat, daycare. It was over. It could have been like a, uh, a sequence Watch what happens type to the thing. birds. This was caught on live footage. And it's unbelievable. We are all calm down. Look at this big batch of them coming in. Hmm. Well, they, we'll get them going again. Look at that bottom one. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we blow out the power again. <laughs> That's a lot of birds. Yeah. That is a lot of birds. We killed some of them yesterday. They must start getting zapped while they all leave at once. Yeah, this could be a good one. A good one? What do you mean? Look at that bottom. Oh, man. They're not giving up on it. That was dangerous. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Time to do it again, huh? Yeah. When you go by, if you honk well, your horn at them. No, they're going to get off there in a minute. Any minute. No. I mean, it looks like the power line's just coated. With yeah. You like it. Wow. Yeah, let's, let's go. I ain't never seen nothing again. like this, y'all. Look. My first time. <laughs> this shit is fascinating. 
whatever is happening. What what is what the fuck is making those birds do that? Well, look, they're starting to come this. Well, these all left. Anybody got firecracker? No. <laughs> ah, hello. We really sitting here watching some birds, yo. That's how I used to watch uh oh, y'all watch Discovery thing. Channel and shit. Lines. I watched it. Group. A lot. Yeah. I like to see when like the um the gazelle and stuff try to cross the water with the crocodiles. Starting to get farther out. This is how I watch that. I'd be quiet and shit, just be sitting there watching. Well, there they go. Ooh! Oh, there went our power! Yeah, yeah baby! <laughs> Woo! Woo! That shit was dope. Oh, the tree is gonna goddamn walk though. The tree tired of this shit. I'm tired of you niggas standing right here not doing nothing. I'm about to whoop these humans' asses to tan up this planet. That's what she said. Yep, there's some up there. That is crazy. Like a flag or something though, right? Nah, nah it's moving. I think NASA and them, I think they forgot how good technology is out here for the average human. My camera can do that. This is wild though, but. I've seen this before, like in real life. We've spotted flying on a broom with a body hanging in El Monte. <gasps> that looks like people on a broom. It's Hotel Transylvania. Well, let's go closer. And it's not a balloon. Oh, absolutely not. She ain't. <laughs> Hell nah. From the moment my videos exposing the world's first ever seen alien went viral, I have been seeing government vehicles outside my home. A couple weeks ago, I even saw a man investigating my property. Did he show up to delete the only true evidence that aliens might actually be living among us? Save and share this video in case the government permanently takes it away. Hey, you know what though? They will try to shut you down though. Hey, y'all see that uh video of that that one? It was a TikToker. He was um video recording like the sounds of mermaids and stuff like that. And all of a, he got really like big on TikTok, and then all of a sudden, you know, government showed up, and all of a sudden they're investigating the waters. They delete his videos, his TikToks, all that. Then he get into a car accident, getting hurt. They come for you. <laughs> Look, the whole street is fucking stopped. There's a fucking flying spaceship. Yo, look at that. Oh, and he moved his camera too. <laughs> look at everybody in the highway right now. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, know, bro. we gotta get a real explanation for that one, yo. Cause you seen that he moved the camera though, right? 
and the UFO was still sitting there. So what do y'all, what do y'all think? You know what I'm saying? Look, I'd love to see what y'all have to say about this in the comments down below. Are we being uh, visited by other beings for other planets? Are they our ancestors? Are the Pleiadians, you know, and the Anunnaki, are they our people? You know, like, this is just make for dope, interesting conversations. But one thing is to be said, those, um, if y'all look at night sometimes, bro, like, Look at the stars. Look, don't look for something. Just look for the first thing that's moving, and you start to see a lot of things that just don't make you know sense. They're not satellites. They're not uh, not planes, because you can definitely tell the difference between the planes with the flashing, blinking lights and stuff like that. It's a lot of things going on, man. Y'all just gotta pay attention. So I think most of us just be too caught up in the bullshit of our own lives, where we don't get the chance to just do what nature you like what our ancestors used to do and, and that's like you know map out the stars and stuff like that we don't do those things anymore man because we're so consumed by things that don't matter we are so detached from nature that we just can't understand what this thing is the earth that we live on we don't really we don't truly understand it yet and i think we need to get back to that so concerned about oh what the kardashians and shit is doing oh love and hip-hop all this other bull you know we need to really start to focus focus on what really matters and that's us learning ourselves but it is what it is man i don't want to preach to y'all for too long but look hopefully y'all enjoyed this video aliens do exist <laughs> i see you in the next video and like i always say spread love because it's too much hate in this world love you guys see you in the next video and i'm out though bye